Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Hyperglycemia Introduction Hyperglycemia means there is too much sugar in your blood. It is common for people with diabetes to have high blood sugar. People without diabetes are less likely to have it. It may happen when they are sick. Hyperglycemia can be dangerous. If it goes unnoticed for a long time, it can cause organ damage. If blood sugar gets very high in people with diabetes, it can lead to coma or death. This program helps you better understand hyperglycemia. It discusses the causes, symptoms, complications, treatment, and prevention of hyperglycemia. Blood Sugar and Diabetes The body is made of millions of cells that need energy to work. The food we eat is turned into sugar, called glucose. The body also uses hormones to make glucose in the liver and muscles. Glucose is one of the most important substances the cells need to make energy. It is the body's main fuel source. All parts of the body need glucose to work normally, especially the brain. The brain can be damaged very fast if it does not get the glucose it needs. The blood carries glucose to all of the cells in the body. For glucose to enter a cell, two conditions must be present. One, the cell must have enough doors, called receptors. 2. A substance called insulin unlocks the receptors. With enough receptors and enough insulin available, glucose enters the cell and is used to make energy. Without energy, all cells die. Insulin is a chemical hormone the pancreas makes. In a person without diabetes, insulin levels in the blood change depending on how much glucose is in the blood. Diabetes is a common condition that affects millions of people every year. It is a disease that makes it hard for cells to get the glucose they need to make energy. When glucose cannot get into the cells, it collects in the blood. This leads to hyperglycemia. Lab tests can measure the level of sugar in the blood. There are two types of diabetes. 1. Type 1 diabetes happens when the body does not make insulin. 2. Type 2 diabetes happens when the body makes insulin, but in spite of this, cells are unable to use glucose. In type 1 diabetes, the body's immune system attacks and destroys the pancreatic cells that make insulin. Therefore, people with type 1 diabetes do not have enough insulin in their bodies, which causes their blood sugar to get extremely high. Type 1 diabetes is most common in children and young adults and can occur at any age. Diabetes is not contagious. Type 2 diabetes is when a body has enough insulin, but there are not enough receptors on the cells to allow glucose to enter. This results in high levels of glucose in the blood because it cannot enter the cells. Causes Some factors increase blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. These include Eating food high in carbohydrates Not making enough insulin Stress Low levels of exercise Infection, illness, or surgery Getting sick or having surgery can raise blood sugar levels. If you are sick or recovering from surgery and have diabetes, work with your health care provider to keep your blood sugar levels under control. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Symptoms and Complications At first, there may be no signs or symptoms of high blood sugar. When symptoms appear, they may include urinating more often, feeling very thirsty or hungry, blurred vision, losing weight without trying, tiredness, You may also have a headache or itchy and dry skin. If hyperglycemia is not recognized or treated for several years, 
it can cause problems. Even mild hyperglycemia can harm the brain, kidneys, and arteries. Severe hyperglycemia could lead to dehydration. Other symptoms may develop, such as difficulty breathing, dizziness upon standing, increased drowsiness and confusion, rapid weight loss, unconsciousness or coma. If hyperglycemia goes untreated, it can cause ketoacidosis. This is a condition caused by toxic acids known as ketones. Ketoacidosis causes ketones to build up in your blood and urine. Ketoacidosis is also known as diabetic ketoacidosis or diabetic coma. Ketoacidosis happens because the body cannot make glucose into fuel. The body instead breaks down fats to use for energy. When the body breaks down fat, ketones are made as byproducts. Warning signs of ketoacidosis are dry mouth and breath that smells fruity, nausea, belly pain, and vomiting, confusion, trouble breathing or weakness, coma. Another complication of diabetes is diabetic hyprosmolar syndrome. This happens when blood sugar is too high but the insulin isn't working. The body doesn't break down fat or sugar for energy. Blood sugar levels rise, possibly leading to coma and death. The unused glucose is present in the urine, making the person urinate more. This can lead to dangerous dehydration. When blood sugar goes untreated for a long time, it can cause damage to the body. Vision problems such as cataracts and damaged blood vessels in the retina can result. Other parts of the body can also be affected, such as the bones and joints, heart, kidneys, nerves, teeth and gums. Diagnosis To diagnose hyperglycemia, your healthcare provider will perform a physical exam. They will ask questions about your medical history and your symptoms. If your healthcare provider suspects hyperglycemia, they will conduct a blood test to check your current blood sugar level. To check your average blood sugar for the past few months, they may use an A1C test. Prevention and Treatment Your healthcare provider will let you know what blood sugar level is best for you. They will help you understand how often to check your blood sugar and how to keep it under control. To prevent and treat hyperglycemia, your healthcare provider may suggest the following. Exercise. Medicine. A diabetes eating plan. Adjusting your insulin to control hyperglycemia. Regular physical activity can help keep your blood sugar under control, but if you have ketones in your urine, do not exercise. This could raise your blood sugar even more. Your healthcare provider may change how often or when you take your medication. They may add short-acting insulin to your diabetes plan to help control hyperglycemia. If you are having any trouble following your meal plan, talk with your healthcare provider. Because being sick or very stressed can raise blood sugar levels, monitor your blood sugar closely during these times. Seek medical care if you have very high blood sugar. At the hospital, you may be given fluids, electrolytes, or insulin to keep you safe. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Hyperglycemia means there is too much sugar in your blood. It is common for people with diabetes to have high blood sugar. People without diabetes are less likely to have it. It may happen when they are sick. Some factors increase blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. These include eating food high in carbohydrates, not making enough insulin, stress, low levels of exercise, infection, illness, or surgery. Hyperglycemia can be dangerous. If it goes unnoticed for a long time, it can cause organ damage. If blood sugar gets very high in people with diabetes, it can lead to coma or death. Seek medical care if you have very high blood sugar. At the hospital, you may be given fluids, electrolytes, or insulin to keep you safe. 
To prevent and treat hyperglycemia, your healthcare provider may suggest the following. Exercise. Medicine. A diabetes eating plan. Adjusting your insulin to control hyperglycemia. Thank you for using Explain.